So what, what is success and what it means to be successful? Beautiful brother and beautiful sister, let me ask you one thing. Do you think your phone, look at it, is successful? Do you think this bottle is successful? This bottle holding water, water representing life. Look at your phone. It is successful? Yes, it is successful. This bottle that I just showed you is very, very, very successful because they were designed exactly to do what they're doing. Their creator, whoever created them, went through the process of planning them carefully, picking up every single aspect of them to work as a perfect whole idea. So what is success? Success is if you want to call it the end perfect design of the product. Success is the intention why the product was created for, if you want to call it. Think about this. So in this arrangement we are living, this world, um, we have been conditioned to think that success is about uh, having a great career, being famous, having a lot of money, being the CEO of this company, having a beautiful family, and all of them are great. All of them are part of being successful. They are all manifestations. They are all symbols of being successful. But still many people that achieve all, I maintain all those dreams, are not fulfilled, are still unhappy. And, and, and the question is why, if they are already successful? So what it means to be successful? And what it means to be successful needs to be traced exactly back to the source, like everything. You need to trace things back to the source. Why will somebody who achieve everything in life, fame, money, will not be happy and fulfilled? Why that person, that person uh, could feel empty? And the reason is very simple. You feel empty because all those ideas of success you have have been manufactured and created by somebody else. So you've been chasing ideals, somebody else's ideals, but you neglected the idea the main idea and intention, what you were created for. Let's say this, this bottle talks. Oh, let's say your phone. Let's talk about your phone because you, you are every day with your phone. Uh, let's say your phone, your phone, now that phones are really big, let's say, let's say your phone, because somebody else uh, thought that your phone can be a really good ping pong racket, so your phone end up being used as a ping pong racket to play ping pong. What or how do you think your phone will feel if every day somebody is using it to play ping pong and, 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 and your phone can be turned into the best ping pong racket ever? And 
never, never, never turn on. So your phone can be the best ping pong racket and it doesn't need to be turned on because they are using it for a different purpose. So that's exactly what happened, my beautiful queen and king. The reason some people are not happy is because they are off. They have not been turned on because they are being used for a completely different purpose for what they were designed for. So, if you look at this bottle, let's say this is, this is you, a vessel to hold water, water representing life, yes? This moment, this bottle is happy because it has water inside, but if this bottle is used for all the reason that holding water might not be happy because it will feel empty. Something like that. I hope you understand the, the analogy. <laughs> but the reason why some people is not feeling happy after achieving success is because they, and they are empty is because the, the, the spark of life that uh, was not activated. Why? Because they were not doing what they were designed to do. I'll give you an example. So when I was a kid, like any other kid, my childhood dream was to play professional soccer. So I went through the process. And I enjoy, I really love the process so much that I didn't even notice when I got to be, when I become a professional player. I got there and I said, whoop, I'm here. But when I got to be a professional player and I, and I, I, and I was performing that role, basically that role demanded to, uh, to, uh, relinquish myself to, to, to deny myself so I was I, I was asked to play this role and to live this lifestyle which demanded to deny who I was because the lifestyle of a soccer player even though is very luxurious and you can get a lot of money fame a lot of girls, a lot of things demand that lifestyle demands demand, demands certain things, and it was not created by me. I didn't design it. So, so it was somebody's cell system. So I wasn't happy because that lifestyle demanding dem demanded for me to turn off my spark my life, my motivation, my enthusiasm. So beautiful brother and sister, success is the ability to keep your spark, your life force, your enthusiasm through your design. If you want to see it like that, it's doing your design. So this phone is successful because this phone is doing what he was designed for. And you are already perfect. So you are already successful. That's the whole thing. Please do understand. You are, the whole thing is this. It's very simple. You are already successful. If you don't feel successful, it's because you probably are very distracted uh, chasing somebody's sales idea of success 
and you are operating in the negative side of your design because you're not even aware of who you are. So in other words, in a different way to put it, success is to know who you are and to operate, honor, and love your design. Once you do that, you're going to be life and life more abundant. Because you're going to realize that you are the source of everything around you. Because your vibration, your energy is going to be so powerful that you're going to be a magnet that attracts the equivalent to your vibration, which is life. And life more abundantly. And you're going to do it in your own terms because you're unique. Nobody's going to tell you uh, what success is because success is determined and it's going to be determined by yourself. It's already determined if you want it. It's just a decision. Probably you are looking outside. What you need to do is to look inside and see how it feels and to experience yourself and through that process of experiencing yourself you're gonna feel and find who you really are and love it and simply sharing it creating life creating 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 instead of consuming 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 because when you what, what what's happening when you're consuming is that you're being consumed and you're outside looking for success and while you're chasing success or somebody sells ideas of success under somebody sells systems you're being consumed that's why you feel tired that's why you feel disconnected so what it means to be successful successful what it means to be successful is to be yourself, to be authentic, to be who you are, who you already are, who you were born to be. And how you do that? Contemplation, observation, go inside, breathe, feel who you are, love yourself. That's another process completely, but success is only the term by your design, by who you are. And you only will find that success, that peace, that bliss by being yourself. 